Hi everyone, my name is Darren Simmons. I'm the Print and Applications Manager here at Edel, and today I'm going to provide a short presentation on the running of an extended colour gamut job. I have here some 30 micron BAPP, a reverse printed job. It's all printed by the extended colour gamut process. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the job up. We have an eight colour UV flexographic printing press here and that will enable us to print the extended colour gamut where we've got a black, magenta, yellow and cyan. We've also got a green, an orange and a violet and then we've got white as well because where this is a reverse printed job I need to put a backup white on it as well. Now the beauty of this process is that from changing from this job to any other job is that all of the inks will be exactly the same, the analogs will stay the same. All I need to do is simply change the substrate or change the print cylinders to the new job. So what I'll do is I'm now going to start loading in the print cylinders and we'll start running this job. What I'll do is I'll just load in all the cylinders first of all. That's our standard four colour process set in. Now we've got the green, orange, violet and the backup white. So what I'll do is I'll just load up the carriages. So our fully automated systems will make sure that the impressions are all ready to go because I've called the job up from a job storage, this particular one, and it will provide the correct amount of impression setting for this 30 micron BOPP along with the other register systems which will bring all the colours into register with each other very quickly and efficiently. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just switch on the impressions. Okay, so I'll just bring that through to the next station. I'll check the register position, and then uh, I'll lock it in, and then we'll move on to the next colour. Okay, so that's uh, just coming through to there now. Okay, that looks okay, so lock that one on. And then yellow. Lock that one in. Then we have our cyan. Is that one locked in? Then our green. Orange. Okay. And our violet. Okay, and then our backup white. Okay, we'll lock that one in. So that's our standard register system. We've got what we call an easy red system, which is a fully automated system. So what I'll do is I'll just switch that one on now. And then we can run that up. Okay, so we'll get the speed up there. Excellent. That's our easy reg bringing all that in there. That's showing up on the, the main screen there. This 
obviously they're coming up there, right? So I'll bring that to a stop. Then you can see there, that's the finished image. So that was done in approximately one to one and a half web lengths of the machine. So you can see how quickly and easy it is, not just to, for the machine to get it all into register, but to be able to produce a job like this. So as mentioned, the extended color gamut really does make life for me as an operator of a machine very simple and easy. I can get lots of production jobs out. I don't have to worry about washing down colors, changing colors, anything like that. I use all the standard fixed color gamut inks in the machine, the same analog swaddles, and that's it. So thank you very much for your time. I hope you found this uh, great interest. Thank you.